something that I have been hearing lately is how much everything that goes on affects others. So for example, there's a lot of difficulty, a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, and others are affected by all that's going on, even if they don't have an experience that has a connection with these emotions. And usually people that are connected very easily to the emotions of others are called empaths. And this is actually something that we can use to our advantage. If you're somebody that feels very connected to the emotions of others, let me tell you that you can use this in order to change your mood as well. So it's important for us to work with our emotions and with what's going on. But if we're constantly connecting to all the suffering that's going everywhere else, we have the option to stop doing that. And notice that if you have this capacity, you can connect to other emotions as well. So you can connect to happiness, to laughter, to kindness, to love, to beauty. So if you're constantly connecting to the suffering of everybody else, make a decision to stop doing that and start thinking about children laughing and playing, people hugging each other, doing acts of kindness and connect to that because we are able to connect to that as well. We can take control of this and decide what do we want to connect to. If it's our emotions, then it's important to deal with them. But if we're connecting to the, all the emotions of everybody else going on, we can decide not to do that anymore if it's affecting us and to start doing it in a way that's going to bring some benefit to us and with emotions that we actually do want to feel. This is what I wanted to share with you today. I hope it's useful. Have a wonderful day.